Ah. Julia, today I watched The Shining. What? Why would you even do that? I don't know. I don't know. It was on TV and it seemed like a good idea at the time, as do all scary movies. Ow. Speaking of scary. Good morning, Julia and Sneak Attackers. Today was a historic day because I think I finally actually solidified my lifelong commitment to just fear Jack Nicholson. Ah. Ever since I saw the first Batman movie directed by Tim Burton, I think I've had nightmares. But yesterday, I was actually on a six hour road trip coming home from Louisiana, my home state. And during those six hours, I was reading my new book, that's not actually the cover because it hasn't been published yet. I'm related to the author. Link in the doobly-doo. So we started talking about literacy and writing and higher education and civil rights and all those kinds of things that a very, very nerdy family would be talking about on a six hour road trip. And it was awesome. And I came to the realization of just exactly how I'm aided by having a random liberal arts degree as a teacher. It goes a little something like this. My mom was fiddling around with her iPhone and I was thinking about how I'm totally illiterate when it comes to stuff like that because I just don't wanna deal with the extra strain of trying to become literate in a technology like that. By the way, that's something that we talk about a lot in my education classes. We talk about how important it is to help children become literate in technology because it's not just writing in pen and paper anymore. In education classes, we talk about writing in developmental stages. So I've learned some really cool things about how really small children, when they're first learning to make their mark on the world, are writing through pictures. They're not just drawing pictures, they're writing their thoughts down in illustrative form. Then when they start to learn their alphabet and learn how to form the alphabet, they start writing words and writing sentences using just single letters. For example, if I wanted to write the words, I like my toy, I might write I L M T. I like my toy. And then as they start to develop a little bit more understanding about phonemes and how letters correspond with different phonemes, then they'll start to write separate words, then they'll start to write full words, then they'll start to write full sentences, and it's just a progressive development. It's really cool actually seeing this happen in really small children. But I digress. Anyway, that's how they look at it in the College of Education. In my archaeology classes, in my ancient history classes, in my culture classes, we looked at writing as a technology. Here's what's really exciting about that. So if you look at writing as a technology, then it is the logical conclusion that writing doesn't come naturally. Writing is invented by people. We're pretty sure around the time of the Scorpion King, not the one from the movie. So at a time when one guy was receiving all these tributes from their tributary states, so they basically needed a way to inventory all this stuff that they had. So what I'm saying is that communication has always come naturally to people because we've always had record keeping in the form of oral histories, storytelling, and other forms of composition, for example, cave drawing, which existed prehistorically. So the cave people illustrated their thoughts in forms of drawings. And we kind of diminished this accomplishment by calling them cave drawings. It was a form of communication. These people were not dumb because they were illiterate by our standards, because they had thoughts and a desire to express those thoughts and communicate them with other people in much the same way that we do. And it's also important to remember that about pre-literate children. We're trying to teach them a technology that does not come naturally to us. Children naturally learn to speak because we have that little thingy in our brain that has the language thing. So they naturally communicate, but in the meantime, we're trying to teach them the motor skills necessary to write as well as the arbitrary system of phonics that we have invented to record things. But writing as a technology has been around for so long that we no longer think of it as an invention. We now think of it as something that comes naturally to children in developmental stages. No offense, College of Education, but that's kind of a dangerous attitude to have. So I think I ran out of time and my computer's starting to do some crazy things. So I'll talk to you next time. See you later.